guy's gonna camp. <laughs> that it is a not fascinating the, decision. DVD meatball, <laughs> and I not only that, it was online. Okay. Hey, DDD, the sword, sword fighter. <laughs> Wait, you were the sword fighter? No, I, no, I, I commentated DDD sword fighter. Okay. Right. Though I do have a nasty me sword fighter. I see, I see. Yeah. Um. So, PS2, Toon Link, and me brawler, much to the chagrin of Quinn. And, oh, dash tax already coming out for both players. The so Marco is in the corner with a bomb. Healy down throw, forward air. Yeah, we're not in down throw throw for the just yet. Uh, Toon Link, I think, is about to be. I think it, Toon Link is it right now, 70%. Prime percent for it. All right. Hockey right now just looking to move in with those nares. Another nair comes out of dash tack. The ball. Absolutely. Listen, me, me, brawler shot put. I don't think it gets enough credit for, uh, you know, as a move. Because, like, it gets overshadowed by a lot of me, brawler's other things. And it's, like, still a pretty solid projectile for what it is. I mean, it's not a world beater, but, you know, it's a good projectile. Of course, everything doesn't look nearly as good in comparison to Toon Link up there, which lasts from about now to the end of time. Ooh, tries to wait for the snare dodge, does not. Oh, tries to get the birdie drop kit, okay. Uh, flip kick back to stage. Alrighty, Marco in very firm control. I say that, he immediately gets up smash. Already one stack of piece for both of them. Another landing there for Taki. Very much a, a landing nair me brawler. There are lots of different varieties of me brawler. That is landing nair. One of the primary ones. You got we also have the I just dash attack me brawler and uh, a few others. Also hockey's dead. Another variety of me brawler you'll see. Gets the ledge. Nair coming out. Forward tilt. Down throw. Hey, up there. Hey, sir. What are you doing? What are you drinking? Yeah. yeah. That was my go-to for a while. All right, down throw. Up air coming out. 73. Marco's got to be worried about down throw rubber now. All right, 96, not so much. Oh, shot put. And that is going to be a dead two link. Hockey, you know, just uh, one or two interactions away from taking it. Side B coming out. It's the weight on the shield. And the shot put. Dash tack there. Nothing going on. Oh my goodness. As hockey just has Marco in the corner. Marco just cannot escape. Mar Marco just cannot escape. And he doesn't escape. He dies instead. To me, Brawler forward smash. Honestly, a very underrated move. They just they just gave me Brawler Sonic forward smash for no reason. It's a bit weird. Hang on a moment. I'm gonna grab some. I'm just gonna quickly grab the water over here. and me baller right here. Up be coming out from hockey. Corner. And here we go. All right, no advantage for hockey. Need another forward air coming out. Oh my goodness. That, that is, this is, hockey's just dead. Marco with the taunt too. Hitting hockey with the edge guard, the surround sound edge guard, everything coming from every single angle. And Oh my goodness, it's Marco. What an emphatic start to this game, and he's not done. But he, he gets a quick 37 off those two up airs, a boomerang and a Zare. Another boomerang coming out. Oh, forces him to And joining me on stage, another man with some great hair, Flape. Hello, what's up? Uh, oh, yes. I'm good, I got water. Thank you. Uh, give me a mouse. Yeah. Uh, just give, give me some, uh, 
give me an actual thing of water and not a snow cone of water. You know? right. So catch me up here. All right, so Hockey had quite the game one, uh, ended it on a very uh, aggressive corner thing where he just ended with a pretty big board smash. Okay. But now Marco has been really like dominant this game too. Like he started with this crazy edge guard that involved things coming from like five different directions. Yeah, uh, I've seen that a lot from Marco lately. Like his edge guards have been very, very pristine and, and calculated. He covers a lot of options. Uh, he's been working on that a lot, I can tell. Uh, oh, yeah. And I can tell he's taking this one away. Uh, okay, end corner. Full stock lead. Yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty hard for even someone like Hockey, who plays a kind of oh cheesy God. character. And oh, wow, this is that was big. Yeah. And he taunts in the middle of it. That was that was landing up air, up tilt up air, and then he still caught the landing out. Yeah. That's the second the like mid combo taunt of the game. He's definitely using that momentum. That's for sure. Like, oh I, do, I do know. I do notice a lot of bomb pulls from Marco lately, like a lot more than usual. Thank you. Uh, and he likes to Z-drop them a lot lately, and I think it, it creates a lot of pressure, even if it doesn't, even if it's not direct, even if it doesn't threaten like a direct area, like it controls so much space just by pulling bomb and just yeah. hanging it there. And look, like, you know, like stuff like that, you know? Just that bomb, right? like, because Tomb Lake Affair lasts have, uh, 70 million frames. Like that is something or, that when yeah. you first come to SoCal, you learn very quickly, is how long that will last. Very oh true. my, oh. And uh, hockey, I'm starting to wonder if oh, this, that's it. That's yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, there is there's that corner, those edge guards we kept on talking about throughout the whole game. Just nowhere to go if you're hockey. Yeah, it's unfortunate I didn't catch the first game because I would have loved to see exactly what adaptations Marco made and the changes he made. But going into game three here, and uh, that's longer. Yeah. Yeah. Both players stone cold right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how often these players have played each other, to be honest. I say I don't. I'm not sure if it's. Well, I mean, actually, no. I think they've played each other a decent amount of Shark Tank. Okay. So. Yeah, that is true. Um, okay, interesting. Oh my gosh. Marco, Marco has full momentum. Yeah, just ho hockey is just getting hit by everything. Like. In game one, he was still getting hit by a lot of projectiles, but now, like, he's getting hit by all of the projectiles. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like Marco's, like, uh, he's, like, one step ahead at all times. Um, a lot of the hockey's decisions are getting called out by Marco really hard. And in the advantage state, Marco sees the air dodges and catches them every time. And then these mix-ups on shield, uh, oh, they're 1-1. One, one. Okay, Marcosaur helping us out. They're actually 1-1 one, one in tournament sets. Uh, Interesting. A little bit of a unfortunate early yeah. stop there, but Marco's gonna ride this momentum big time, going straight to the ledge, pulling bombs. Yeah, I also noticed pressure. their game count was 3-3. Okay. So they have an even set count and an even game count. So this game will determine, you know, who is up on both. Oh man, Shotwood. Okay. I was, I, was, I was talking about Shotwood earlier being kind of an underrated move. You know, as far as roller projectiles are concerned. Yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. It does have a one negative side being the massive amount of end lag. And uh, Toon Link might be able to punish that sometimes with projectiles. Ooh, good catch on the tech. Good make up. Yeah, I'll say a piece. Marco was probably expecting like an up smash. But instead, he got the down smash, which I think is a little slower than up smash. So, probably just caught Marco completely off guard. But now Marco has to get out of the corner. And look at that, like, Hollow Bastion's another stage with a very visual representation of where center is. That's true. And, you know, Hockey has just been holding it the whole time. Hockey, unfortunately, threw himself in the corner right after you said that. But now we're back to center stage here, a little bit of a neutral interaction. Uh, and Marco's definitely not scared to throw out projectiles. I'm surprised he threw out arrow at, like, almost point-blank range and then dashed back into the corner and threw out a boomer. And it's working. Um, Hockey isn't finding room to punish it. Like, he's, he's not positive on the shield. Yeah, no, see? That, that bomb, he literally up through a bomb and it led to an up air. Yeah. Just, oh. Look at that pressure. He gets hit by both of those bombs and he's able to reversal it. And now Hockey's in the corner. And Marco's in the driver's seat. Oh. Although, he tried to switch it up, but nothing can come of it. Let's say, this is a point this where... 
Kotaki just needs to find something. Even if it is, because like, keep in mind, this is a character that can easily cheese you. Yeah, this like, is still anyone's anyone's game, at yeah. for this one. Yeah, the problem is though, Marco right now is out of like, Death Breath Drupper per se. Yes. And, but back here's, all, back here's all you need if you're brawling. Absolutely. Uh, let's see if the Kotaki's gonna be able to find those openings that he's been struggling to find. Oh, yeah, I'm not so sure. He's he's already in the corner. Well, that was a fantastic catch. This the awareness from Marco is is fantastic. Yeah. I also noticed Marco's been hitting by like zero nairs. Oh, he's gonna fall. Yeah. He died. He died. 